What's up, Swole Patrol? We are the Not So Newlyweds. I am Jocelyn. And I am Daniel. And tonight we have something special for y'all. Guys, I've been telling y'all about my brother Drake. Um, great human being. Great guitar player. Um, we got to share with you what we just did. <laughs> and I'm sure he is looking down on us from heaven and laughing. I warned y'all that I would get emotional. We both got emotional. We just did this video. And fell to pieces. Both of us. <laughs> and after watching it back, realized I did not have the sound set right, so there was no sound. <laughs> I can hear him laughing uh, from behind those pearly gates right now. <laughs> um, there's no way we can recreate what we just went through with this. Um, some of the stories I told, some of the shit I said, but, um, maybe that'll help us. Maybe we won't get quite so emotional this time. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe. Matter of fact, we just got dried up. She just fixed her makeup <laughs> and I was watching, trying to watch it back and I realized the boo-boo we had made. And like I said, I can hear him rolling <laughs> up there right now that that just happened. That is... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to reset and we're going to do this again for y'all. Because uh, regardless of what it does to us, I, I wanted y'all to hear, uh, hear this. Um... God, we just got our composure collected. I don't want to freaking lose it again. So maybe that burns some of it out of us. Maybe. Hopefully. <laughs> maybe. Anyway. Um, the reason we chose this song, or I chose this song, is um, out of all the songs I could have played you that I have recorded to hear him actually burn that guitar to the ground, like we said he could, or whatever. Uh, much like Johnny Cash with Hurt, I said that was Hurt. Johnny, knowing it was time, it was coming, saying goodbye. This is Drake's goodbye. I think he knew it was coming. Um, oh God, it's fixing to start over. <laughs> this is his cover of Chris Cornell, Seasons. Now, but this time he had been sick for a very long time. This is not something that's probably going to wow many of you vocally <clears throat> or. With his guitar work, he was a shell of what he once been. Still better than most of what you're hearing on the radio. Um, I turmoiled a lot over which video to show you. His widow uploaded two, and we would have liked for her to have been here tonight. A uh, little shadow, my little sister. I introduced them, but I could not reach her. Um, so we're going to go on with this, and uh, hopefully she'll see it later. Um, I lost my train. You chose this video, because... right? Right, right. Um, there was two versions of this uploaded by the widow. One was mainly pictures of him. One was mainly pictures of his friends and family. I figured that she would want the pictures of him. I figured if he was looking down on us, he would want to see the pictures of his family. I ultimately chose this one that is mainly pictures of him because this is a tribute to him. Um, I don't know if I can go through this again. <laughs> <laughs> we just got destroyed, y'all, for nothing. <laughs> Behind us, if you see something new in our background, that is the Bloody Bone bass. That is the bass that Drake helped me uh, during that whirlwind week where I had to learn to play bass in a week and join them. He worked at a music store and he greased the wheels because I was broke. He greased the wheels to make sure I could get that. My daughter plays it now. It has become hers. Uh, but I had to bring it back in here. I left the Star Wars the Falcon because uh, Drake was also a huge Star Wars fan. In fact, at his height, he was... Uh, 6'6", six, six, uh, we called him the Wookiee, and I was the Beast. It was Wookiee and the Beast. We got accused of being twins, even though he was a foot taller than me. <laughs> uh, 
but he was the pretty one and I was the mean one. And, uh, you know, ever since I first mentioned this as a joke, I've been saying I need, uh, it's, I've been getting emotional about things and I decided I need to get this monkey off my back. And, uh, I hate so bad that our, <laughs> our first take, <laughs> I can still hear Drake laughing, man. I can still hear him laughing. Uh, it's not something that we can upload. So we're going to do this again. Um, I can't promise I won't get emotional again. Uh, maybe I can handle it better than we did the first time. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> right? It killed us both. Um, especially, I, I, there was some pictures on here taken at my mother's house that kind of got me. Um, but with that said, I didn't want for y'all, our Swole Patrol, not to see this. So we're doing it again, <laughs> and I'm going to try to hold it together better this time than I did last time. Um, I can't make any promises. <laughs> so I apparently been needing to purge this from myself. But before we run our mouth anymore, <laughs> this is James Drake Jr., the Wookiee, my best friend and brother, and the best human being I knew. Oh, here it comes. <laughs> This is his cover of Seasons by Chris Cornell. Laszlo and Baby Bear, y'all. Summer nights and long warm days are stolen as the old moon falls. A mirror shows another face. Another place to hide it all Another place to hide it all And I'm lost Behind The words I'll never find And I'm left As the seasons roll on back Guitar Hero was the joke for him <laughs> Sleeping with the full moon blanket Sands and feathers for my head And dreams that never been the answer And dreams that never made my bed Dreams that never made my bill And I'm lost Behind The words I'll never find And I'm left Behind That season's road You know, Drake was one of those people that believe things happen for a reason. Uh, like I said, we just, it, oh God, y'all. We was both crying like bitches here a few minutes ago the first time we did this. Maybe that was, he would say that it was meant to happen that way so that we could come back and do this and not fall apart in front of you. Um, but I made mention, I want to tell you what kind of human being he was, what kind of friend he was. I was telling the story 
this girl that we knew, uh, this one particular night, these two, uh, we, we played at this spot that we played at often. And, uh, first and foremost, we support our law enforcement. We're not going to try to say we don't. But these two particular asshats were sheriff's department. And this girl that we knew, I mean, sweetest girl you could imagine. She was like our little sister. It was her 21st birthday, first time she'd ever drank. And these two assets came in and fed her alcohol all night, being sweet and nice. And at the end of the night, they were trying to take her home. And uh, we had been involved with our gig. We had been involved with doing what we do. And we had not seen most of that take place. Well, the difference between me and Drake when it come to splitting hairs was uh, I was the fury. He was the cold. I was like Wolverine and he was like Hannibal Lecter. Um, what I'm getting to is it wound up by request from the owner of the place uh, and he knew what he was doing. <laughs> Adolf knew what he was doing. He sent me and Drake out there. And uh, let me tell you what kind of friend he was. I was the instigator. I went out there and told those sons of bitches that they were not leaving with her. Um, a lot of words were said. Chris, Ethan, Ryan, if you ever get to see this, you know. But in that moment, at any point, probably justifiably, uh, because of the threats I was laying, you know, that could have gone bad. And then we, you know, that could have gone, you know, we could have, I could have been shot that night. Um, and that motherfucker stood by my side without hesitation or reservation at all. If it was to go down, then God damn it, it was going down. He didn't flinch. Didn't even question. Didn't even try to hold me back. Those two guys would have died that. We would have all died that night before that girl left. And... I don't know that I've ever known anybody in my life that would have stood at my back even knowing that something bad like that could happen. And I'm not going to lie, man. You know, I was the fury. And I was letting that motherfucker have it. And he starts reaching for that hip. And that's when he stood up taller for me in that instant. And for her. That's one of any thousand stories I can tell you about how that son of a bitch stood by my side through down times, danger. Um, there was no stopping him when it came to his friends. Now, again, um, this is not, as much as I've bragged on him, this is not something that's going to allow you. Uh, in a way, I'm almost glad that y'all didn't see what just occurred. We are holding it together much better this time. <laughs> much better. But I still wanted, I wanted to do this again because I, I want y'all to know about this guy. Um, any of you are interested, I can get you some of his work. Tremendous human being. Tremendous friend tremendous guitar player and this world is a worse place that he's not still in it you know before and i just told her after we had our first meltdown if not for her and my girls i'd have gladly traded place places with him and before i met her if i could if it came to that point I, i'd trade place with him he should be here um he should still be here. Uh, we need to get back into this or I'm going to get <laughs> fucked up again.
the naked floor is cold as hell Yeah, the naked floor is my Those last images were a few months before his death, and uh, he and uh, my little sister Shadow, they didn't want it to come without uh, them saying their I do's. For a guy that normally walks around 6'6", six, six, 250 or so, he's about 130 pounds in that picture. Um, in a way, I'm glad y'all didn't see what went down the first time we did this video because it destroyed both of us and uh it was not pretty it wasn't pretty i'm still struggling now i, I think maybe i got some of it off of me <laughs> with that last run through so i'm able to maintain a little better this time I don't know how many of you out there are lucky enough to have that ride or die but between me and Drake. That wasn't just a sake. It was ride or die. And that was it. That was it. Um, you know, we had that rare kind of friendship. Somebody says something that pisses you off these days. You'll stop hanging around with somebody. Uh-uh. Drake, if he was fucking up, he expected me to put a foot in his ass. If I was fucking up, I expected him to put a foot in my ass. I mean, you know, we were real friends that way. Not just cover friends. I mean, we were real. It was a, it's a different kind of thing. Um, To all the musicians that played with him, you know what kind of person he was. And you know what kind of musician he was. And you know that it's a shame that more people didn't hear him. I mean, in his area, he was a local legend. He actually started as a little bit of a blues player and played with his father's band. Um, I think I mentioned in the last one. I don't know if I've mentioned it yet in this one. When he and I first met, we absolutely despised one another. 
it was two alpha males pissing over the same patch of dirt. For real. And I can't even remember. I've been sitting here struggling all day to try to remember where that changed. I don't remember where that changed. I just know that it did. And a bond stronger than blood, stronger than anything you can imagine was born from it. And um, I actually am really glad that this is the version of this y'all are seeing and not the last one. <laughs> Uh, you know, it's one thing to see her cry. <laughs> Seeing me boohoo is not pretty. Um, and I think what I got out <laughs> that last run has allowed me to maintain my composure a little bit better this time. Um, Drake, we miss you. Wookie, Jamie, James. He was known by a lot of different names to a lot of different people. His impact on most people's lives. Nobody that knew him is the same after his passing. You know, he was uh, Uncle Drake to my daughters. Unfortunately, he passed before they, you know, they barely remember him now. And uh, he loved them like they were really his nieces. He did. To my daughters, if you watch this one day, he loved both of you. Um, you gotta stop that. You're gonna get me. You're gonna get me again. And I've tried so hard through this run through. Oh my god. You know, he's looking down from those gates. And, I, and his birthday is coming up. And every year I post on his Facebook that I hope he's rocking those fucking gates because uh, keeping them open because one day I'm going to kick them fucking bitches in and I'm going to join him and we're going to swole patrol. You better <laughs> damn well believe heaven will be a swole bitch that day. <laughs> you got me? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> stop it. Stop it. I'm trying not to go there this time. <laughs> um, God, I, I could sit here and tell Drake stories all night, man. I, I could tell you how great a person he was, how great a guitar player he was, how great a human being he was. Um, those of you that knew him, I don't have to tell you. I don't have to tell you. It's a shame that his time was short. People... He would be a household name now, with or without me, with or without any of the other bandmates he's played with. Um, Drake was amazing. He was amazing. And his unconditional love for me as a brother dug me out of a lot of holes. Um, I'd like to think that maybe I dug him out of a few. I've said before, we've played for a thousand people, thousands of people before. We have been absolutely homeless with nothing before. We were all each other had for a long time. I miss him. Um, I'll have to do this real quick. Uh, at the beginning of the last video we tried to do, we took a shot in his honor. Uh, I probably don't need another shot, but I am going to raise this one to you, Drake. Brother. I'm going to see you again one day, man. And we're going to blow that fucker up. God, Jesus, you better fucking be ready. Because we're going to blow that fucker up. Swole Patrol, thank you uh, for the support you give us. And uh, thank you all for watching this. This is, you know, this is not our usual thing. I wanted to do this to get this monkey off my back. I'm... The more I think about it, really glad you didn't see our first run through with this. Um, but thank y'all for indulging us this tribute for him. Um, to all of you that knew him, Drake. Mm -hmm. And I just made a mess. <laughs> There's nothing unusual. I can hear him guffawing about that one too. He's like, ha, 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 that's what you get. <laughs> All right, y'all. Swole Patrol, we're going to get out of here, man. Uh, we got more stuff to bring you tonight. And uh, we already had a, an emotional breakdown <laughs> and 
having to go through watching that again after having an emotional breakdown. We've got to do something else. Um, Drake would want us to keep rocking. So that's exactly what the fuck we're going to do. Thank you, brother. You meant more to me than you'll ever know. And uh, I miss you every day. And uh, fuck, I wasn't going to do this again. I'll see you again, brother. Until then, keep that shit blasting because I'm coming. Not today, but I'm coming.